Yo, what is going on guys? I'm back with another video. Today I am back on Rainbow Escape for the fourth episode of the um, Elite Iron Man series. Now before we get into this episode, I just want to announce a $10 bond giveaway. Now all you have to do to enter this giveaway is make sure you are subscribed, make sure to uh, turn on the notifications, make sure to like the video, make sure to comment your in-game name and then I'll be picking the winner in just about two days. The winners will be announced in the server discord, in my community discord uh, and also in my pinned comments. So definitely make sure to join the discord and check the pinned comments after this video um, giveaways will be drawn. Um, anyways, I also want to announce the community discord rune unite real quick The link will be down below in the description as well as in my pinned comments So definitely make sure to join that as well. It's a community discord with a bunch of youtubers server owners um, Graphic designers and a lot of um, RSPS players as well You can do some trades there There are some events there and also a few giveaways that will be hosted every once in a while So definitely make sure to join these community discords. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump right into the video Okay, well, that's kind of Lucky slash unlucky at the same time. I just got a regular minigun right here at the defilers Now you might be wondering why the hell am I killing these as you can see defeating 500 boss monster gives me a, a rare package This pink top hat and I think this is 100,000 tax bags, which would be really useful I don't know if it's actually 100,000 or 10,000 that I will get However, I just need 18 left to go ahead and finish that and these defilers are really quickly and they count towards uh, the boss kill count and here we go this should be the last defiler normally and then we should complete the task so let's see how much now we actually get once this one is dead and um, oh we actually got ourselves let's see this is 10,000 as I expected so 10,000 text bags and then five rare packages um, together with the pink top hat and now I do think this is purely cosmetic let's just have a look anyways yeah this is purely cosmetic anyways let's open up these rare packages divine spirit shield nothing too good yet um, yeah basically just a bunch of trash however 10 thousand tax bags is really nice because now we can spend that at a money store right at the home area so let's go ahead and see if we can save up or buy anything really good all right so i just bought these pieces for three thousand um, and something tax bags each now let's hope that these are actually an upgrade because i'm not too sure i think the ornament gloves and boots are definitely an upgrade yeah there we go these are definitely an upgrade and this one is what i am doubting because the elite iron man set itself is actually really good already but there we go oh it was an upgrade i am really happy that we did this purchase now so that was an upgrade anyways what i want to be saving up for next is of course these um or maybe even some other armor however all the rest is like super expensive if you want the really good stuff um also i might be saving up for these cryptic wings because these are really good they are also six thousand uh, bags and the tormented spirit shield oh, on the red spirit shield my bad is something that i might be saving up for as well because that is nine thousand and it's actually really good uh, from what i heard maybe this one as well but that is super expensive but um yeah i'll check that out later all right so we opened up 80 more of these decent keys got ourselves 2.4k tax bags more uh, we also got two legendary packages so let's see if we can get lucky and uh, not really uh, we also got a seismic stuff and a toxic blowpipe so that is actually quite nice but um, yeah, I'm going to try to buy a few upgrades with the cash that I have now. Alright, so I will be buying myself the Cryptic Wings right now. I think this should be a um, stat boost from what I have now. Yeah, this is actually really nice. So I'm going to be using that. And hopefully right now we will get a few boss kills. Alright, so I already managed to get to the top floor of um, the key room zones. Um, as you can see, meanwhile, I already made myself 3,000 of these tax bags. And these keys should give me 100 tax bags each or an item. I don't know what the items are that you can get from the best keys. Hopefully, we can get some really good items here. Um, that would be really nice. But I am saving up a bunch of these. I'm going to... Yeah, I think I'm going to get about, like, I would say... 150 keys or something at least so I can get over 15,000 tax bags um, And that would be really good because then I can buy some really good upgrades um, I might even stay for a bit longer, but it will take a while So that's what I will be doing for now and there we go. I just died every good thing must come to an end We still managed to make up to 9760 tax bags now totaling this up I do believe I have quite a lot. Yes, there we go. We have 12,000 now. So let's go ahead and see if we can manage to buy an upgrade. Well, weapon-wise, I can't really buy an upgrade here. I would need a bunch more tax bags for that. However, I can actually go ahead and buy myself the Frost Elimination Set. 
um, or finish it at least and then I would have a decent upgrade not the best like it only gives a few more strength bonus but it is an upgrade nonetheless and it does look cooler so yeah that's a small upgrade I don't know what to go for with these tax bags now because I want to go to Borg I honestly do but Borg is super hard like actually really hard I might try it out in this set, maybe I get lucky, but I'm not too sure about it. Alright, so I was thinking about doing a bit of a game plan change. I was actually going to kill otherworldly, uh, otherworldly beings for quite a while, because as you can see, the common drops are a uh, 25 noted frost dragon bones is a 1 in 15 chance, and a um, one, uh, 500 regular dragon bones is a 1 in 40 chance. So that's pretty common in my opinion, well guess not. I guess I've gotten two of these frost dragon bone drops, but if I go to the kill log, to the boss, as you can actually see, I already killed over 160 of these, so it's actually a lot worse than I thought, or I am just getting like super unlucky. I'll try to grind these out for a bit longer, because I think if I get my prayer up to 95 and use soul split, I am able to, t uh, to heal out the DPS on Borg, so that's what I'm actually going for, because right now, no matter what I try to do for armor upgrades or whatever, I will keep on failing at Borg, because it just does so much damage, I need that rapid healing, and that's why I need the soul split. Oh god, we just got ourselves an abyssal bludgeon. I've been getting so triggered about this. Now, this probably is shit. Yeah, there you go, it's shit. I, I already expected that. However, I w look at the drops in my inventory, man. Look at this. This is the first time I got a 500 uh, regular dragon bones drop, but I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then I also got a uh, Grimy Lanta time, so I got 9 times on the drop table before I actually got the Dragon Bones itself. Now I get a rare drop. I also already got a Statue's Warhammer and 5 regular Mystery Boxes and a Ring of Wealth and Gold Charm, so I've been getting these rare drops, but I haven't actually been getting the drops that I'm after, which is really annoying me. Um, also, if we check out the kill log at the moment, I think I've passed 300. Yeah, there we go. I'm already over 300 and this is my first regular dragon bone drop. So triggered, man. You actually gotta be shitting me. I just got another bludgeon. I also already got a DFS, which is at the same drop rate as the bludgeon, which is super annoying. And now another Statue's Warhammer. We just managed to finish an achievement, bury 5,000 frost dragon bones, got us two legendary packages, which gave us absolute trash. There we go, just hit 93 prayer, which means we just unlocked soul split. We still have a few bones left, so we might even get to 95, which would be awesome for um, turmoil as well. And there it is, 95 prayer, which means that we have now unlocked turmoil. Um, and with that, we have unlocked all the prayers, which is super nice and will be really good for PVMing. Well, there we go, we just finished the third board kill, which means that now we should be able to teleport to Joker. By the way, the soul split upgrade is the best thing that I could have gotten for, uh, gone for. Um, let's check the drops, you can get a blood, red spirit shield and some other stuff. But yeah, soul split is way to go, man. Like, you definitely need soul split and then you'll be able to defeat almost any boss. Oh, and here we go, we're about to finish the third kill of the Joker, which means that we have now unlocked the new zone. We are moving up in the list now that we have unlocked Soul Split. We only have a few left. I really want to finish all this in the fourth episode, which would be amazing. Anyways, let's have a look here. The Heart Rancher and um, Drop Table doesn't really work, but probably won't be too hard. And there we go. That is the third kill of the Heart Rancher. Now, this was a bit harder. We only managed to get tax bags as well. But we now unlock the Infernal Beast. Now, hopefully, these will be a bit easier, um, considering this was actually quite hard. I still have quite a few to I don't know if I'll be able to finish all of them. Yeah, so basically for the next boss I would need more DPS upgrades, which would still take a while to get. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll hand, I will have to end off the episode there. Anyways, make sure to join the community discord that I announced. Um, also make sure to enter the bond giveaway by liking, subscribing and commenting your in-game name. And I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. Peace.